Our business specialist, Peter Silverman, reports. You want to know what the ravages of inflation is all about? Well, a basket of groceries that cost you $100 in 1971, 10 years ago, now costs you $231.10. That's inflation. You feel it where it hurts, buying necessities like food for the consumer coping with double-digit inflation has become a relentless battle with little chance of victory, at least not in the foreseeable future. Worst hit are those on fixed incomes like the elderly. Statistics Canada reports the cost of food, housing and transportation has climbed, taking the consumer price index, the indicator of inflation, to the record 12.6% for April. What's happening? The blame has been tossed at government policy that has led to the piling up of the bank interest rate, or the printing of more money to pay for higher energy costs and government debts. The same arguments rage in the United States and their inflation spills over into Canada. Translation, it means trucker John Stevenson, who hauls fruit and vegetables from the southern United States, has to pay more for energy, and that's passed on to us, the consumers, in Canada. How much did it cost you last year for a gallon of gas? Uh, for diesel fuel, about 97, 98 cents a gallon. What's it going up to now? What is it now? It averages about a dollar and a quarter. Is that, uh, do you add that in? Yes, sir. What's going to be the end? You, can you see the prices of everything just going up as far as uh, what you're trucking? If the diesel goes up, it has to. Ottawa seems to lack a policy to control inflation, but hopes the Americans will control theirs. And that could mean easing the inflationary spiral here. That's business. I'm Peter Silverman, City Pulse. For many of us, today was payday, an occasion more for a major depression than a celebration. Ten years ago, the goods and services that cost us $100 last month cost us more than $224. The annual inflation rate now stands at 12%. January's consumer price index indicated higher energy and transportation costs as the most significant factors in last month's inflation spiral. If you heat a house or drive a car, last month you paid 6.2% more for home heating fuel, motor oil, and gasoline. As prices jump for suppliers and distributors, the increases are passed on to the consumer. The company increased the price to me, so therefore whatever they increased to me, I got increased to the pump. But for us, it's the same thing as, as it was before. It's no, no extra for us at all. For a matter of fact, we handle more money, but we make it the same. Electricity, too, cost us more last month. The power source that keeps these pumps pumping pricier gasoline. Stats can as well isolated higher prices for airfares, for domestic flights and package tours. And if that isn't enough to send you reaching for a drink or a cigarette, which, by the way, cost you 12% more than this time last year, consider Bell Canada's latest price hike application subject to approval by the CRTC in May. Just when you felt safe with a 20 cent telephone call, Ma Bell wants to gobble up 25. And residential rates would go up by 30% to $12.55 a month. Business rates up by 40% to $43.25 a month. Anne Roskowski for City Pulse.